Ukraine's Minister of Foreign Affairs called this draft resolution the most powerful out of all previously submitted. The document clearly states that Moscow is obligated to implement the decision of the UN court. One of the provisions requires lifting the ban on Mejilis, the highest representative body of the Crimean Tatar people. The second provision is to allow international organizations into Crimea, which would allow for greater Russian accountability for human rights in the region. At present, the only option is to submit a powerful and very clear resolution, which, firstly, calls all things as they are. Secondly, it consolidates the support of the international community. And thirdly, it is this resolution that can be used later in lawsuits against Russia, of course, in The Hague, as well as all other courts where we have now begun such processes. Axem Chigos, a deputy head of Mejilis, has been recently released from a Russian prison for inciting protests. He believes that his case is just one of many examples of human rights violations by the occupying Crimean forces. This is state terror from the side of the Russian Federation in Crimea. Yet to be aware of all this, this is not just repression. This is a multifaceted plan for murders, kidnappings, intimidations, and illegal arrests. According to the Commissioner for Affairs of the Crimean Tatar People, Mustafa Jamilev, Moscow is forcing Crimean Tatars to leave the peninsula. Meanwhile, about half a million Russians and residents of Donbass have been resettled in the peninsula since Crimea was annexed. At the same time, there is an ousting of the entire indigenous population, involving the pro-Ukrainian population. This is a gross violation of the relevant article of the Geneva Convention. The Ukrainian government is aware that adoption of the resolution will require both time and much effort, as Russia uses all possible methods of pressure against its adoption. According to Ukraine's foreign ministry, Kiev won't make any compromises on the resolution's demands. A vote on the new draft revolution will be held within the next two to three weeks.